Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday morning. I'm just running around like a bit of a mad chicken without a head. Is that the same? Took without a head. Just trying to make sure I've got everything. The hospital. <laughs> so I think I have. I packed probably more than I packed last time, but last time I really underpacked and then had to get everything sent in. And I'm even taking my pillow and my little. He's a reindeer, I think, Mr. Squidgy. <laughs> Um, you guys who've been around for a very long time will remember him from Germany. <laughs> That's where I got him. Um, put a heat pack, lots of bits and pieces to hopefully keep me comfortable for the next week. Um, yeah, so I didn't take a pillow in last time of doing that, and I've got a sore back, so I've got my heat pack. Got some food bits and pieces, and like tea bags, and a cup to drink out of, and my juice. All things that I said got brought in later on. Last time, I am going to miss my puppies so much. I'm going to miss my babies. They don't care. They just want to go to Nans. So I've just, um, just made some breakfast I'm going to have in the car. It was just, um, what have I got? A vegan mayo and falafel wrap with some lettuce on it. You should have hummus, but I do want to open the tub of hummus just for me today because no one else eats it. So I thought I'll just leave that closed. <sighs> pretty exhausted and I think when I sit down I'm going to hurt but <laughs> it's funny sometimes if I why you keep going you're alright but you've got to really be careful not to overdo things because you end up worse but I've got no choice today obviously and once I start on ketamine hopefully I won't be feeling too much pain what are you doing shaking my hand oh well, you're a good boy alright I better keep going Fee's going to take me in I'm getting, I can't remember what it's called I'm not having a normal cannula this time because I had so many problems with it last time. And actually watching back my videos, I had five cannulas last time. So they're doing something different. I'll let you guys know when I remember what it's called. It's a quick shot of Rosie before she goes next door too because I'm about to leave. Bye, Rose. Bye, Bailey. Oh, he's, he's ready to go. <laughs> he doesn't care. I'll miss you guys way more than you'll miss me. Things have moved a lot faster this time. I've already got my midline in, as you can see, and I'm in my room. So this is my room, nice big one. Dirty windows, but a nice view out there anyway. You can see the ocean, which is nice. I'm about to see the sunrise. Maybe someone will come and clean the windows, which will be even better. <laughs> I've got plenty of chairs. I'm finally all hooked up and connected to the ketamine machine. I'm just filming on my phone, so hoping the volume's not too bad, but it's all good to get up, take all my stuff around the side of the bed to get my other camera. So I might even do more filming on this camera anyway for this stay in here. We'll see how we go. So yeah, it started. I won't be on the full dose for another seven hours, and then we will see what happens after that. <laughs> The last time I was in here, I only got up to nine. Once I went to 10 mils per hour, I felt like I'd been to the dentist, my whole mouth went numb and my speech was a bit slurred. So, and hopefully I might get a little bit higher, but we'll see, it's gonna stop at nine because I can tolerate that quite fine. And then I guess we'll see from there. Well, we're not off to a great start with the meal because that is savory mints, <laughs> ice cream, jelly, and I don't like apple juice, so. <laughs> 
nothing for lunch with me so far. She went and found the lady who delivered it and told her I'd requested a vegan meal, but obviously it hadn't gone through from down from the office yet, hadn't made it to the kitchen yet. So she's gonna see what she can find for me. If not, I can probably get a salad from the cafe downstairs. So I can grab something. That was a nice salad I got downstairs last time we were in. Also got a service, it brought me a nice salad sandwich. Labeled vegan, it's got nutter legs on it, she said, and some fruit salad, so that'll be fine. And she said other meals will definitely be vegan. Okay, I think I'm, I'm up to, I'm up to four meals now. I've got a really bad headache today though, unfortunately, so. Um, that's not, I'm not feeling good. Um, still got body pains and a bit woozy in the head. That could be from the migraine or it could be from the ketamine, I'm not really sure. I just went for a walk and got some, um, some um, drink. Just got a cold drink because I bought my bonsoi milk to have, but I didn't bring it away to open the carton, so. Wasn't very clever. Anyway, I've just been reading. Time seems to be going very slowly. Not only do they have soy milk, they also have a vegan cake. <laughs> Obviously, not the healthiest, but maybe some sugar might kill my headache. Let's hope. Nothing that's so nice though. Uh, I know Athena said last time when she was in here they had a lot more plant-based and um, vegan options. Which they, I don't know that they did before when I was in, so that's really good to see. It might be too sweet for me, but we will see. At least I don't feel bad getting it, and if I don't want to eat it, I don't feel bad because no animals have been harmed in the making of it, so if I don't eat it, it's... The worst of these is the plastics, you know, chucked in the bin, but if no one eats it, that's what happens anyway. Well, it's now five o'clock. Dinner has just arrived. It's all very well marked vegan this time. My little vegan stickers everywhere. And some soy milk for my tea. Let's see what it is. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Perfect. I'm on six mils now. I'm feeling a bit woozy in the head. I said, I've still got this headache. And actually, when I said to the nurse that I had a headache, he said it's quite common with um, ketamine. I don't think I had a headache last time though. So, yeah. Um, and I can get, but yeah, I think the ketamine is making me a bit woozy in the head, feeling a little bit lightheaded. So, hopefully, I am not going to sort of feel Fuck, I'm numb there already. Why? Why does this happen to me? I don't go numb in the face like I went to the dentist. Don't know. Anyway. Um, I think my fibro pain's down. Just got this stupid headache now. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. Oh, I've got a dessert as well. Didn't used to have to get desserts because I wasn't going to eat them. Well, I'll have, have my dinner now. It's very early to have dinner, but that's okay. I really am a bit special. I just realised that the dizziness and lightheadedness is probably from increasing my cymbalta. Because my rheumatologist suggested I do that as well. Increasing from 60 milligrams to 90 milligrams and then eventually up to 120 milligrams. So that's probably what's caused the lightheadedness because I remember I had lightheadedness when I started on that as well. So yeah, I was just, I don't know, I was reading, reading on Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, and I sort of clicked, ah, that's what's happening. Yeah, I think that's from that rather than the ketamine because I'm still ooh, on a pretty low dose. <laughs> Oh, dinner's very nice. I didn't eat the dessert. And I'm not really a fan of coconut stuff so much. You know, I like coconut, coconut cream. I'm not a fan of it. I ate all my dinner. 
Oh, except for tons of burnt carrot. <laughs> That's pretty good. And I don't even like cooked carrot. I know that carrot looks nice. <laughs> well, I should say I didn't used to like cooked carrot. Um, and I had my cup of tea. Okay, I'm feeling pretty weird and out of it now. Um, so I am... Like I'm on a sailing boat. <laughs> yeah, I'm really quite woozy, my headed. Don't think thinking clearest, so I'm on a seven mils or eight. Seven mils. So I think I'm, um, I've just got my jowies on, put some moisturizer on. I'm gonna hop into bed now. Well, I've been sitting on the bed, but I haven't actually hopped into bed before. I think I'll just call it quits for tonight. I can't even like my mouth is like starting to go numb in my mouth I think. But I don't know what's from this Cymbalta or the ketamine. So I said good night, I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm just gonna oh, I don't even know I might just listen to some music or something. My mouth's going numb again. Damn, I was hoping I would um, do a bit better this time around. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday I think. Bit of a rough night, didn't get much sleep. So, uh, yeah. It's a little bit spacey this morning. Um, hopefully I'll get more sleep during the day, I think. Because uh, I was awake for a while, wait a bit during the night. I think I just got into a good sleep and I wake up again. So it's morning. Because it is. Anyway, um, checking you guys when I'm, <laughs> when I'm more awake and making more sense. Just trying to, I'm just trying I can't remember to keep on vlogging. Just waiting for breakfast at the moment. I don't know when it comes. Anyway, I did have the same experience, sort of the sort of um, kind of a, of a trip, I assume. It wasn't as bad, as intense as the last time. I definitely was in some weird space last night. <laughs> Um, but as a wake, I could open my eyes another wake and I'd go back and I'd be just off in La La Land and things were just morphing into other things and I think I said before, I've never taken any recreational drugs so I don't really know but I imagine that's sort of what's depicted in movies and stuff so yeah, it didn't um, last too long. It wasn't as bad as the last time but I've also sort of got that dental feeling Lying on the side of my face or through there. So I'm on eight. I don't know when I'm going any higher. And he said it's up to me this morning to see if I want to go any, go any, go any higher or not. So, kind of thing is said probably not. I still got a headache though, that's weird. I still got. Yeah, reasonable fibro pain. More of a, it's a dull though, it's like a dull pain. And then the burning pain, but when I think of it, it's still there. And I find it very hard to like move my mouth. <laughs> Look at them run for frowning. <laughs> I think it's with the numbness, I think. Um, oh yeah, when I was having that weird episode last night but you just feel like it was so heavy like you're pressed into the bed and I could move my arms and legs but like you feel like you couldn't move any part of your body but you made a conscious effort and you could move but like I said I could open my eyes and stuff but it was it's strange I don't know why people do that for fun um anyway Yeah, I just, um, I don't like 
not being in control of all my mental faculties and it's not hard to talk everything will settle down a bit and my body gets a bit more used to this dose really don't want to be here I just want to go home but home wasn't being much fun so I want to go home and be more fun yeah, it wasn't the home that wasn't fun it was me that wasn't fun I wanted to walk my puppies again and prepare food for my family and do things with my family. So hopefully this will work and give me a bit, bit more of a boost. Oh, it's way too early for breakfast for me, but anyway, I'll see what I can manage. Here we've got food and toast in there. I don't know, I like some kind of brand, but I guess I'll be trying it. I don't think I'm a big fan, but I guess I'll have that. The fruit was nice yesterday, I never had that, so I'll have the fruit. And the tea will be good as well. What have I got to put on my toast? Anything? Jam, maybe. Oh well, I guess I'll just some water that's good I've been missing my water <laughs> oh that's what I can what I can manage one thing you definitely can't do in hospital is avoid plastics <laughs> and apparently whatever they put on your plate even if you don't use it it all just goes in the bin so that's all you do we're taking the jams and stuff and I'm putting them in our motorhome which I might start doing again because we gotta use them, we can use them there. I really don't like margarine, but no. It's what we have, so it's about the best of things. Yeah, I had a little, um, the, the thing came apart last night. I had a bit of a drippage. But it's all about working again now. It's very hot and cold and a bit out of it. They have taken up to the maximum dose or probable maximum dose now just nine. Too bad, a bit of numbing through here, but not too bad. No, it's bad as it was last time, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think if we went to ten that would become unbearable, so hopefully I can stay on the nine. But honestly, well, I've been away since six something this morning. I can't tell you what I've done for the last four hours. Really cannot tell you what I've done. I don't think I've slept. I was on Instagram a bit. They had four hours go past. Three hours. Three hours. Can't calculate either, obviously. I don't know what I've been doing. <laughs> anyway, if there's due in shortly, I believe. I think time just goes very slow in, in hospital and probably my shower probably took forever. And I'm just a bit like a, I feel like a bit like a zombie. What I imagine a zombie feels like, we've sort of been out of it. But anyway, body pains reduced, I believe. I'll get rid of the funny, fuzzy feeling in my head, that would be good. I think I'm slurring my speech a bit as well, so. Well, see how we go. But my bed's got remade, I've got nice fresh sheets on the bed. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to try and read a little bit, I think, because I don't think I'm capable of doing too much. Not that I have much productive to do anyway. I've just had the nurse in, I've asked her to take me back from nine back down to eight, because nine was not good. And she said I should, I should start to feel better pretty quick, and I can, I think it's already <laughs> working. I would not be a good drug addict. I don't know why anyone would do this for fun. This is not fun. Oh, not fun at all. But I'm different to you why not get to do what you wanted to do. I have no idea what the vlog would be like when I film. But anyway, come back down a bit. So, hopefully, a little better. Pain. 
better but I've just got so if we can get the numbing and everything gone that would be good so there's lunch so I've got some sort of a snip chili kind of thing um well, it looks like it's homemade it's not like a I don't know what it is but it's um not a pre-bought one like last last night they had vegetarian meals and I got some pre-bought ones I could identify what they were and a little salad, some tomato salad dressing, <sighs> fruit salad. It's turned out to be quite a nice day out there as you can see. I had a nice visit from mom and dad this afternoon. Feeling so much better on eight now than meat meals. Dinner tonight, rice and vegetables. And I've got some soup, vegan soup, so that's nice. Some um, all sorts of times last night, but did you really like <laughs> and the whole in the container? <laughs> I'm sorry, plastic world, but no. another blue roll. <laughs> Happy to report dinner was very nice. I then I came back in for another visit this afternoon or this evening, I should say. And my doctor just came in as well, so seen everyone else. Still have to have my clexane injection to the blood thinner because of my history of blood, having had a blood clot and obviously I'm not up and moving as much in hospital but now that I'm back down at lower dose tomorrow should be a much better day, I should be able to get up and down a few times during the day, go and get you know the, my water down juice which is what I've got now or a cup of tea which is what I had before a few of them during, during the day <laughs> um, I think I've been twice today, I haven't really drunk a lot for me but yeah Tomorrow should be much more normal and following through. And he didn't think of any need because my pain's right down now. I'd say down to like a two out of ten. It's really low. So there's no even the point going back up again higher, so that's good. So hmm, hopefully. It's got a night in my hair. Hopefully this does the trick, but yeah, I'm having a good night's sleep tonight because I didn't sleep well last night. I have the rest of the week for more smooth sailing. I'm getting lots of reading done because we've all been doing. Good morning everyone. It's Thursday morning I believe and I slept in until almost seven o'clock. So I actually had a good night's sleep last night. Just woke up the twice when I was doing my um or well, once when this had to get a new bag of ketamine and once when they did my um ops during the night so I slept pretty well last night, so that was good, but unfortunately I've woken up pretty much like my, in my usual state, in pain. I mean, not quite the pain level as sometimes do at home, but still not ideal. Because of course when I saw my doctor yesterday, it was at the end of the day my pain level was usually the best, so. Hmm, let's see. Also, doesn't help. I don't get my pain meds that I usually take first thing in the morning. I don't get them until like 8 o'clock or something here. So, let's see. This is my problem with hospital life. Like, I've just rolled out of bed. I walked around and got my tea. I'm not ready to eat your breakfast yet. I didn't really roll out of bed, did I? Well, I did get, did get out of bed. I'm back in bed. <laughs> Good morning guys. I'm glad I didn't put myself on camera before because I get really hot during the night so I've been tying my hair up in a bun. And you should, I should actually, I'll have to let you see myself sometime but I look a fright. <laughs> I look fearful enough anyway. Got these stupid hair regrowth bits but yeah. I looked even scarier. I would have scared myself this morning. <sighs> Just got some wee picks. And the boy is banana, so I'll probably add that to it and I've got a bit of toast. But I'm not ready to eat breakfast yet. Oh, I've got a bit of a headache today, but otherwise I'm feeling not too bad. I've actually opened up the blinds so I can see better outside. There were those, as I said, very dirty windows. Hoping they'll come and clean them sometime. Because not every day I get an ocean view, and the sky looks really pretty out there today. 
I'm definitely feeling a bit more myself. Kind of. I don't know. <laughs> um, then this is just going to weigh in. So, see her soon. And. Yeah, I've just been looking on Instagram. I haven't even been on my computer yet. I know that the time just goes by. I think you're kind of in your own little world. <laughs> in your own ketamine. Oh, that's nice. Now I can see the ocean. It's lovely. Let's see from bed. That's nice. Um, I won't take anything with my headache at this stage and I'll wait and if it gets any worse I'll ask them for something. Because I'm not really doing anything. Good. I've got enough drugs in my system, haven't I, without adding some more. But yeah, pretty sort of achy. Around the sinus area. At the moment, and my fire pain's up a bit from what it was yesterday. It's hard because it's so hard when you the pain you just evaluate all over like you can't just talk I chopped my head running up I chopped off my head how to feel um a bit sore but not too bad probably so morning tea um a little piece of pizza I'm not keen on olives I'll pick the olives off and probably have the rest do they get the tea bag yep <laughs> I had my morning visit from Athena and I've just been around to get another cup of tea. I'm sitting in the chair over here for a little bit. Just for a change. Okay, so here and just read some of my book till lunchtime. Well, it feels like it's always time to eat around here. <laughs> o'clock I've got some kind of vegetable soup it's nice and essential also it's got eggplant on it and like a parmesan that kind of thing with some mashed potato looks really good and fruit salad which I'll probably keep and have a bit later on just to update and this is like obviously like a vegan chicken and corn soup or a corn soup really good yum it's um, mid-afternoon now, it's about 3 o'clock or just after 3 o'clock. I've just had my afternoon tea, got some fruit salad and also the fruit salad from lunch, so I ate both of them. And I'm just watching some YouTube now, looking out the window. I actually had a sleep after lunch, I was reading and I got really tired. I thought, oh, I'm going to lie down and have a sleep and I probably had a good hour, maybe hour and a half. That was a good solid sleep anyway before she came into, the nurse came back in to do my um my ob so it was um yeah i woke up feeling much better and my pain had gone gone down my headache had gone away uh, oh excuse me <laughs> i didn't have a particularly wonderful morning i had a headache and just wasn't feeling the, the better bit of fibro pain this morning so yeah i woke up feeling really good and she said about your headache it's all gone now after my sleep so yeah so feeling a lot better I don't believe anyone was coming in to see me this afternoon. Then I said she might. She was going up to Sydney to see my cousin Fiona today for um she they've got to do a, a for her tape, they've got to do a report on a, an Australian icon, I think it is. And my cousin Fiona, uh, who's in her forties now, she just had her fortieth birthday uh, earlier this year and she's got cerebral palsy and she's a book become a qualified lawyer and she really is very inspirational she's an amazing person um, when she was born my aunt and uncle would sort of basically just put her in a home and just sort of forget about her because her life's never going to be worthwhile or worth anything but they didn't um, she's never been able to walk but um yeah so she went to Indigone University getting a law degree and she's very 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 um passionate and um about disabilities, about disabled rights and things like that. So um, I thought that was so awesome that Fiona, that Athena had chosen Fiona to do her report on. So um, yeah, it was nice. She's such a nice person. It's so nice to see her getting her life all sorted out, even with having fibromyalgia and probable MS. I don't actually think we ever followed up. And if she people questioned that, when I'll answer in the Q and A, but just 
um, in regards to that. She hasn't had an official diagnosis of MS yet, um, but they're going to monitor her again in six months and see if anything's developed or changed. But that's still what they're thinking, but it's not been diagnosed. The criteria hasn't been reached to diagnose it. But, um, yeah, so she's just basically treating pain at the moment, all she can do, and, and working on all, all her different things, which is... I think she's a very inspirational person too, which I know a lot of you guys find her to be very inspirational. She really she, she went through a rough few, few years, and you know, obviously lost a few years of schooling and stuff. But you know, she's got her life back on track and heading in the right direction. Even coming across this big stumbling block of possible MS as well, or something might not be MS, but something you know, there's something there. Something's happened. Something in addition to the fibro, which is bad enough. Especially at such a young age, but yeah, she's excited about her school. She's doing so good at her schoolwork, and she's you know so excited about university, either going to the local university or to Canberra Uni next year. And it's just a, it's such a turnaround. It's such, it's so good. So I guess if you ever are going through a rough stage with your kids, just you know keep on going because they tend to come out the other side, even though it doesn't seem like they'll ever get there when you're going through the rough patches. It's time for dinner. So I've got, looks like a broccoli soup and the pasta, which smells really yummy. The bread roll and the frozen, looks like mango or something dessert. Bread roll and nutalex again. And these here, <laughs> resisting again. As usual. Yeah. <laughs> Nice sunset out there tonight through the dirty, dirty windows. <laughs> we can see the sunset anyway, considering the sun rises that direction and sets the other way. The sky must be looking pretty pink.